laughing. Hallelujah. Wow. I wish you a very good laugh today, my dear listener. Cause for laughter, joy, and not sorrow is your portion. Let's laugh. Laugh in the Lord. The Bible says rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. You may enjoy things that would make you feel elevated, maybe by tuning into some channels that would cause you to just relax and get free in the spirit. Look for it because God wants us to have enjoy life and enjoy abundantly. That your colleague who always love for you to to laugh and and smile is on purpose, is on error. That's his gift. You may think he's just a jester. He's ordained of God. He's his own special gift and he's using it. He's causing people to laugh. He's causing people to to be awake by just making sure that the environment is bubbly. He's his own gifting. Laugh, enjoy his jokes. But I believe you will not be around someone with the wrong kind of joke. I'm talking about a Christian, talented, friendly person who would always put a smile on people's face by coming up with something that will cause for a smile. That's the kind of person I'm talking about. Such a person is a blessing. Appreciate them and tell, thank them that, oh, you just made me laugh. I needed that. I know how much women love for their husband to put laughter in, 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 the, in the conversation to make the home re-energized. Laughter is essential. And don't forget to laugh off the devil's head whenever he tries any pranks in your home. Laughter is good. It will refresh your spirit. The Bible says, thank you for listening. God bless you.